Welcome to Tech Solutions Z, your go-to place for clean, simple, and practical Linux tutorials. In this video, we'll go through how to completely remove the default Brave browser from Zorin OS 18. Whether it came pre-installed or you installed it manually, we'll make sure it's fully removed from your system, including all its files, repositories, and hidden leftovers that often stay behind. Let's get started. First, open your terminal. The main step is to uninstall the Brave browser application itself. This removes the browser application from your system. Once that's done, we'll clean up the Brave repository entries that are usually added during installation. These files are stored inside your system's sources list and are used for updates. Removing them ensures that your software updater won't continue checking for Brave or showing unnecessary errors. Next, we'll purge all leftover configuration files, profiles, and cached data stored inside your home directory. These are usually hidden inside .config and .cache folders under Brave software. Removing them helps you completely clean the system and recover some space too. Sometimes Brave may have been installed differently, maybe through Snap or Flatpak instead of the regular package manager. To be safe, we'll run a quick check for that. If it's installed as a Snap or Flatpak, you can uninstall it directly with one command for each package type. Once everything is gone, your Zorin system will be completely free of Brave browser and any related components. After completing these steps, it's a good idea to refresh your package list and optionally reboot the system. That ensures all caches are rebuilt and your software environment is back to a clean state. And that's it. Brave browser is now fully removed from Zorin OS 18. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to subscribe to Tech Solution Z and leave a like to support the channel. More Linux tips and tutorials are coming up soon, so stay tuned and keep exploring smarter ways to manage your system.